here with uh, the Dean of College of Horticulture and Forestry, Pasigat, Dr. Bir Hajarika sir. So after knowing the, this fall army worm uh, being found in this uh, university campus, the Pasigat news team has just come to this university campus and uh, we are now discuss in details regarding this space and all. So uh, sir, uh, you from uh, Dean uh, College of Horticulture and Forestry and also the Dean of this uh, Agriculture of Forestry, Pasigat. So just a little bit. Uh, narration about these findings, mm. and uh, and then we will request you to take to ask another side. Mm. Yeah, uh, actually, maize is a very important crop. Uh, so, far the cereal crop is concerned of the ornamental produce, and many of the farmers are growing these crops. But this presently, this problem of false army worm is also a common phenomenon, common phenomenon, and uh, it is observed in our field also. And very recently, we have. Uh, grown this sweet corn in our college campus. So uh, there also we have seen up to 20 to 30 percent infestation. So if it is so, I think it will be high time for controlling these things in before the occurrence of the massive wave. So I think uh, you can see also uh, our plot and we will be discussing there itself. Yes. It will be better. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, we will just go to the site. Uh, from there we will see the overall details how the pace are spreading and uh, what kind of actual uh, fall army worm is actually. So we will go, go to the site and we will get to know more details about this. So we will take you to the uh, site. So uh, this is the worms exactly uh, found uh, in this uh, campus ma uh, mage and uh, now it can be easily viewed and uh, this is the exact fall army worms which are found in this image. Uh, this is actually new invasion you can say. Earlier we have not noticed, uh, last year also we grown the maize crop here in this plot itself. Right. But uh, there was no such kind of pen, uh, infestation was there. Yes. But uh, this year only, as you know, this is the also forecasting by ACR also. Right. So this is a new invasion, new pest is emerging in this plot. Right. And here uh, perhaps you have seen how they are affecting our crop. As uh, this is not only also affecting the cob, it is also affecting the leaf, it, 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 it is also affecting the flower, that is tassel. Right. Uh, so this is a new crop and uh, so far the management is concerned, whatever the management prescribed by the ICR, yes. uh, we are trying for this. And as a part of this, as I have told earlier also, IPM we are following because we are exclusively not going for the chemical one because we are uh, looking for the organic way. Actually, uh, the, we have faced around for our point of view, uh, we have faced around only 20 per 20 percent because we doesn't uh, conclude in a chemical treatment. We only conclude in a biological uh, biocontrol. As like uh, before sowing this, uh, uh, before sowing this, we already sown uh, green gram, black gram, which is also one of the control measures for this. And uh, this and another control measures for biocontrol are also has uh, informed that for. The increasing in a plant density and the, the plant density is also increases there. And and number three point is we already gone through intercropping system with the pulses. Okay. This is also one of the biocontrol which is not much uh, the infestation in our because in our field comparing to our no, uh, other northeastern region there are uh, vast uh, eradication yeah vast affected by this foul. Uh, this army one. First of all, when we started growing the crop, we did not found any infestation of this pest. Okay. But as soon as uh, we started getting into the reproductive stage, when the tasseling, that is male flowers for the maize crop started emerging, right. we found some of the insects, some of these insects infesting the tassels, that right. is the male flower of this uh, crop. Yeah. And later, when the crop started developing, it started infecting the portion where the, the silk, that is a female flower, emerges. Okay. And it started eating or sucking the juice from the grains of the maize cob and uh, hence it increased into the whole feed. So it did not emerge for us in the vegetative stage but rather when the cob started developing. So we, when we started from maize crop, yes. then initially there was no any infestation. When yes. after 60 days, it means the infestation was there. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Since uh, your uh, maize crop, we are eating raw. Yes. Uh, so since it, again it is a sweet crown, yes. that is why it is very sweet to take as a raw. Okay. Yes. So under that situation, if you are going for the chemical method of controlling this insect, right. so that may create a health hazard. Yes. And that is why our best, best option we have given to is the hand picking. Okay. Because uh, now the infestation so far you have seen, yes. uh, it is not so severe here, only one or two uh, insect per cob or per plant is there and in most of the plant it is free of this pop paste. Yes. And that is why we are advocating or advising them 
to go for hand picking so that initially we can destroy the paste. Mm. So there are some other students also who is uh, also uh, given the job of growing this crop. Mm. So please, you are, your your reaction, please. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Monica, uh, this base is a new, uh, first time we're facing it. Yes. And then um, it's growing this severed like, damage after. Oh. Okay. Yes. And then like, but in our thing, it's not the severed. Oh. Okay. Okay. Your, your reaction? Uh, in our thing, uh, it's only starting. With, uh, it's damaged mess also. It's around only ten to twenty percent. Uh, and our assistant professor Punapati uh, and they have clearly uh, said uh, regarding this uh, test and uh, though it is a very serious kind of test uh, it can be easily contained and uh, I will request the cameraman to show uh, brief, uh, regarding this uh, grow, growing of maize here so we can see uh, the, uh, the, the healthy maize grown here in the campus of College of Horticulture and Forestry and this college is especially very widely known for uh, practicing uh, and growing of many uh, kind of crops here and uh, by growing such crops they have also been uh, creating awareness across the farmers of this region especially the uh, uh, peripheral district of this uh, east Yang district and um, now after filing this kind of fest uh, uh, dr hajirika is very serious and uh, his team uh, especially uh, the department concerned they are also looking after finding out all the measures uh, so that uh, uh, such kind of uh, fest could be regulated in days to come